This is the word to go, yo. Go, yo. Hello, 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 ladies. Peace. 2022 is almost done, and here we are. Welcome to Gaw TV, everyone. Cheers to 2022. Come Woo. on, 2023. Yes, but please. while you're here, because you love us so much, and we're nice and warm and cozy for the festive season, do us a flav and like this video because you like us so much mm -hmm. and we appreciate mm -hmm. it. You know, subscribe today because we have an amazing guest for you, but we have some amazing guests line up. Yeah. Um, for the new year and some incredible episodes if you want to go back and watch those as well um, and also click that bell icon right Ooh. so why Val so you never miss an episode you never want to miss a, a moment of God no, TV. That's not a mo. Time, by the way, yes. And and as Mickey so poignantly said, there is so much to look forward to in 2023. And we will not reveal it here because we like to keep you guys guessing. We mm -hmm. have some amazing guests for 2023. And it's been an amazing run for us. We are so thrilled that you're here. If you're watching on replay, we, we, we are so happy about that. But if you are watching live, hello to everyone in the chat room below. We'd love to have you here every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget, we're also in podcast form. I will use my matching white headphones to remind you that you can also listen to us oh, on the podcast. Look at that. Yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Very exciting. And of course, we are actually... Um, you know, we, we try to really take care of our, our loyal fan base. We have so many lovely people that join us for all the Patreon uh, perks. But starting in 2023, we're going to do something uh, different, and we're going to go to YouTube memberships. So Patreon has been great, but we're going to kind of do yeah. some things different. You guys, keep in tune with what we're doing because it's going to be great. We're going to have a little transition, but we know you guys will love it because we really try to take care of all the fans that have been with us since day one. And there are so many no people. And we, we talked about this on our last chat um for the november top tier patrons our gorgeous patrons mm. and we said we were so thrilled that like we thought it was just going to be a u.s audience right it's actually right, yeah we've got thorsten from germany we've got mickey d from australia anthony from france so many different um parts of the world are watching god tv so we thank you for that and 2023 we're going to reward you more than ever so get ready for that Super and speaking excited. of rewarding Absolutely. lisa this yeah. guest I am dying to meet. So please tell us about her and what we're about to experience. Cause I'm, I'm freaking out. So okay. So, you know, out. like freaking out. So am yeah. I, I'm actually shocked. Um, she actually watches our show. So Stop. that's exciting. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. So I'm obsessed with discovery plus channel, um, just mm -hmm. because, um, you know, second to our God TV show on YouTube, you know, um, right. but, uh, uh the, my paranormal, my paranormal stuff. So um, before we end the show, David wants to meet Sherry Marie. Yes. I'm going to butcher her last name. Deb Benedetti. Deb <laughs> I'm going to ask her out of breath. Call her Sherry. Yes, Sherry. Sherry. She said it. Marie. Oh, Sherry. baby. baby. Yes, it's Sherry Marie um, from Ghost Hunters. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get oh, her in goodness. here. Come on. Let's get her in. Come on in, Sherry. <laughs> Can you Woo! hear me? Hello. Yes. On speak. Yes. Hi, okay. Sherry. Oh, there Listen. we go. Okay. Perfect. I can hear oh, Sherry, baby. Sherry, baby. <laughs> Listen, listen, ma'am. We're meeting for the first time, but how dare you show up so gorgeous and so professional with no oh. audio or video edits needed? You look perfect. How are you? Oh. Well, you know what? I, I went to I went to work this morning. So I had to get somewhat done, but then I read your email and I'm like, all right, so I need to like, so I have my taps shirt on and I have nice. my shades on and I have my wine. Cheers, yeah, so cheers to that. Cheers, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, my, my booze, my booze wine. Yeah. But mm -hmm. scary. Mm -hmm. uh, Sherry, how do I pronounce your last name correctly? Uh, D -ba -da 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 -da. I butchered it. Sorry. D -ba -da -da -da. <laughs> D -ba -da -da she tried. D -ba -da -da. I think I still killed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She did try though. I did it's try. Tongue. Yeah, tongue. Good. It's safe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our first oh question is typically who you wear and what you're drinking, but you just nailed it out of the park for <laughs> us. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Prepared. You know, we have um our new taps. We actually just just put it out a couple of days ago. We've been waiting for this website to be built forever. Um right. so we just put it out, you know, for the holidays. Um, you know, so we're 
you see me like wearing it on the show more and right. more, you know, the winter time, uh, the summertime, sorry. Yeah, um, very cool. Yeah. So that's what I'm wearing. Yeah. And my I love a bit of branding. No noir. <laughs> Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Is it a specific uh, brand that you like? Is it, a, you know, is it just whatever um, Pinot Noir you don't mind? Or is are you picky whatever, about what brand? You know. Yeah, no, it's pretty much whatever. Like, I mean, there are certain brands, but if I go to a bar, it's Pinot Noir. Like, yeah. it's, okay. just, you know, it's pretty much, I don't drink white wine or Cabernet. Like, it has to be that. Oh. Yeah. I that like is, by guy. the way, for those watching at home, we have all these wrestling fans that watch because we're all from wrestling. Pinot Noir is Ric Flair's favorite wine, by the way. Oh, yes. no. That's how I started drinking it. Kevin oh. Nash is more of a Cabernet Sauvignon type of gentleman, which I learned. That's not for me. Mm -hmm. But Pinot Noir always makes me think of Mr. Flair. He loves that very much. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, Ladies, what are you, um, who are you wearing and what are you drinking? I want to go to Mickey first because, by the yeah. way, uh, Sherry, when, a, when when Mickey when Mickey appeared on the screen, I was just kind of like doing something. I was trying to get something done over here with my wires, and I looked up and I th I swear I thought she was wearing like a blonde bob wig. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's a hat. It's my hat. Listen, it's my big woolly oh, hat because this, you know, we're in our last week of December, and it doesn't even feel appropriate that I should wear this hat outside because Nashville does not feel like winter time right now. Oh. Um. But I thought it was appropriate. I've worn this for like the tribute to the troop shows. That's why I bought this hat actually, because it would get really cold in Afghanistan and stuff oh, when we cute. went. Um, but Val said she was doing like, oh, a winter white kind of theme because, you know. Um, so I just put on my jammers. I got my fleece um, long johns oh, yeah. on and they got snowflakes on them. And I was just trying to winter it up. Yeah. And then I have this uh, Cabernet, the little Cabernet. What is this? Oh, clay nice. clay? What's the brand? Oh, that's a nice clay brand. Clay. That's a yeah, nice brand. Nice. It was yeah. a gift from Cam from Australia when he was over the house. Oh, wow. with, uh, uh, oh that's Conrad. fancy. We were having a little dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so, God, yeah, mine's super from down the street, you know? Yeah. yeah. There you go. This is I, the last glass. I love glass. a red wine moment when it's cold <laughs> and it's sort of like, I don't ski because, you know, I buy brews like a peach, but I love the <laughs> idea of like an apres ski with like a ski, like Mickey's wearing like a ski hat and like cozy yeah. and red wine. It just seems like it all fits together. How cute. Yes, you would fit really well in the lodge, Val. Yeah, <laughs> the lodge, yeah. not, not the outside no. within the confines <laughs> of a nice lodge. Yeah. yeah, I went to Aspen. I do not ski, but there was a lot of yeah. There's the fireplaces. There's nice. There's some right. wine. You dress up like you just went. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know, right. Yeah. You feel like I'm a lodger. <laughs> I, I prefer the lodge over the yeah. cold. Do I've been skiing, yeah. but I'm. Not Do you guys ski? Like, like I, I will say, this, so my husband's, uh, some of his family's from, they live in Switzerland. They've, you know, grown up there and they ski on purpose. I find that odd. I have grown up in hot states. I don't do it. I'm not athletic at all, but I love the idea. Like, like I think of Dumb and Dumber, right? Like they go to right. the ski lodge. But do you guys <laughs> actually Camps ski? Tonight. Nikki, you said that you've done it physically before because I tried it and it was the scariest thing. I will never do it again. It was in Canada. I will never do it again. I would totally do it again. It was cold. Like I thought it was going to be a lot colder than I was, but my, with my snowsuit and my layers on, it was warmer. Nick also British Nick loves to ski. He loves it, loves it. And so I was like, all right, fine. We can go. I'll try it. And I actually yeah. liked it. I was not good at it. I mean, I got better, but I was at one point I was like, I lost control and I was skiing backwards and I stopped into a mound of snow. It was like cartoonish. It was, <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. a lot of control under your feet, which freaked me out. I was just like, I don't know yeah. what's going on. I, yeah, it's not a good look. My feet and I was so a good, I, I was a good skier as um, when I was younger in high school um, and go figure I'm in California, but I, I wasn't used to skiing on powder, so I wouldn't have to ski on Aspen. I, I skied in California, which you're skiing on ice. So you do not want to fall because it's hitting. When you crash, you crash on cement and it's right. scary, you know? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. 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 I hear like people like going into the woods and like hitting trees and stuff. I'm yeah. like, I don't Dude, understand. People die. Yeah. Sonny Bono yeah. died that way. He hit a tree. Yeah. yeah. Mason's wife, God bless her soul, um, uh, Natasha Richardson. I hate to say it, Google it, but she, skiing accident. And these are always people that are avid skiers. Not like they just tried it for once, like me. Oh, they're they, on those, they, like, the, yeah. The black slopes or whatever. Yeah. 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 yeah, the yeah. diamond. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, I'm on I a like bunny, bunny slope, slope somewhere. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I like tubing. That's but that's my there thing. There you I go. Like yeah. 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 See, Sherry, you're already our kind of girl. I'm sorry, I, I made it very dark with that ski question. Lisa, can you tell us who you're wearing and what you're drinking? Because you look yes, very Yes, I forgot to put my, um, my, my, whole, my, whole, my whole outfit. I've worn this before on our show. I have an outfit on, under here, and it's I'm in San Diego, and I live in an old building. There's no air conditioning or heater. And it's freezing because it's a cement building, so there's no... You know, it's just cold. So I got my little, my dragon. Oh, one. yeah. Oh, there's a tail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the tail. And I forgot to get my oh, wife. Look at that bag. <laughs> and I'm drinking my yellow tail um, Cabernet today. Oh, yeah. um, yes. Um, and, and I don't have a specific brand either, Sherry. Um, whatever's on sale or inexpensive. I'm um, the CVS bottom shelf. When you buy six, you get 10% <laughs> off. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. They they always welcome me. They're like, oh no, like if I go in there to get my medication or something or prescription or something, they're like, oh no, wine today. I go, oh my God, I got a reputation at CVS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Bag. I'll drink it out there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Listen, hashtag bottom shelf babe. I'm the same. I, I don't, you know, I've had some oh, lovely wines babe. that are expensive and, and the bottom shelf, the yellow tail, phenomenal. I and you said it got a, awards. Val, you said it got awards. Um it for got, yes. In, in, in wine taste studies, uh, uh, Yellowtail has done very, very well, especially with red wine or Shiraz. Um, I am very classy today because I am drinking Skinny Brands Premium Lager, but I put it in a wine glass to match my outfit. Oh, it right. is uh, lower, uh, it says 35% fewer calories than other premium lagers. You know, I'm not a beer fan. Yeah, so I'm shocked. Different. Yeah, my mom and I liked it. It's cute. You know, it's very, if you're doing low carbs, which I'm not, it's the holidays, you know, who cares? But it's very nice, very light in my little white uh, glass here. I do have a shot of agua from leftover from last night because my husband and I were just, I don't know, partying. And uh, I thought the winter white thing would be fun. So I'm wearing um, a beautiful, uh, I think it's like it a beautiful. Mongolian fur um, number. It reminds me of Penny Lane from Almost Famous. The brand is called Biba, B-I-B-A. And they were very famous in the 70s. And if you Google them, they were also the ones that uh, the girl in the Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody movie, she was working there. It was a very, very famous brand from the UK. Love it. Um, these are from Eyeglasses Shop, who sponsor me. They're great. But I'm just happy to have a little a little tipple because it's freaking freezing outside. It's a like tipple. 20, a tipple. It is That's a word. Right now, in Orlando, it's 70 degrees, which is where I'm mostly from. In Milton Keynes, it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit, you guys. Yeah. I oh think my gosh. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm, so I'm in Boston. So yeah, I'm cold up here too. Snowy oh, AF. Yes. But I will tell you, Sherry, we're so happy to have you here because, you know, from the beginning of this show, we've all talked about our love of the paranormal and ghost hunting. Um, Stephen Gonzalez, who I have um, I, on my Facebook and different people, I've met Rob Damaris, who was a ghost hunters international guy that I met at a comic con. We love this genre. We, we genuinely respect mm -hmm. and love it. So we would just like to, first of all, introduce you to the fans. And, and can you tell them how you got into ghost hunting? What was kind of your background and what led you to be on the Ghost Hunters Tap show? Because we all love it so much and we're thrilled to hear. Thank you. Um, so I started, I used to have all these different things that happen over time. You know, like when you were younger, you used to, you know, I thought that I'd, I'd see things, I hear things, but you kind of dismiss a lot of that. You know, you don't want to, you're doing this constantly, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but over time, so there was a there was a home. I I come from upstate New York, I moved to Boston when I was like around eleven or so. Um, one of the homes that we lived in um, became very active. So when we first moved in there, there was nothing going on. But then eventually, like all these weird things started happening. So there's like you know like footsteps and knockings and and voices and doors opening up and and closed that. They'd either like creak open or like slam open. I mean, it's it's creepy. Um, the the lights are on and off. So there's all these crazy things that would always happen there. Um, it was it it took me it, every time you go in there, you you have this feeling of like something is going to happen, like this just weird, awful feeling, like somebody's always there, somebody's you know always staring at you and all that. Um, and I would never go into the house by myself. So I would always have to like wait for my parents to come home and then I would go into the house. And, but there was one particular night um, which got me into all of this. There was one particular night where I came back home from seeing my boyfriend at the time and got ready for bed. I um, got into bed. And as soon as I got into bed, something grabbed my ankles and held my ankles down. Oh my God. 
So I went up to go and to go and look what it was. And then they grabbed my wrist and then pushed my wrist down to the bed. And so, you know, I must so my body went back and then I, I lifted up my head because I, I was trying to yell out to my parents um, down this down the hall. And um, and when I did that, they put their hand over my mouth and pushed my head down. So, I mean, I could even feel like the fingers like you feel. So it's not like a pressure, but like you feel like a hand, you know, like a hand. And then you feel like the fingers like on your, on my lips and everything. So that press, you know, press my head down. So, um, of course I was like trying to get out. You can't do anything. You can't yell, scream, and, but there's nothing there. So it's like, you're, you're just kind of stuck there. And when that happened, a full body apparition of a doppelganger of my boyfriend at the time appeared at the bottom of the bed. So for a split second, I was kind of like, um, how is he here? Like, I thought I came home. Am I still there? You know, cause you don't understand, like there's this person in my bedroom that looks like my boyfriend. So how is this going? You know, like what's going on? And so I kind of like snapped back to, okay, I'm being held down. So then that person came over to me and kind of like leaned over and was just staring. But so everything was him, like the, the hair, the, the, the whole, the body, um, the things that it was wearing, it was like a sweatpants sweatshirt and on all that. Um, but he didn't have a face. So the face was like, um, you know, like if you see like, um, like out to the, uh, like, like the midnight sky, like that black distant look. So that's what the face was, but everything else was him in, in solid like us and, um, and stared. I have no idea for how long, no, like no idea. Um, but then he got it, it went back up and then he started walking. And then I just remember hearing like the footsteps um, in the, in the carpet. And I remember like, um, you know, like the noise of your, like the thighs, if you're rub rubbing the thighs, the cloth. And so he went off and then the door opened up by itself. He walked out. That's when I saw like, there was nothing from his knees below and oh my God. shut behind him. And then everything was lifted off. So that was the night where I was like, what the bleep was this? Like, what is going on? Um, you know, is it going to happen again? What was that? Can he do like more harm? Like that was, I didn't understand, um, you know, about spirits and ghosts. I didn't understand how, um, how much, how much power they have. Right. Um, you know, so like being in the house, it was like, okay, well, nothing happened to me, but we have all these crazy things. But because of that night, that's when I was like, oh my God. So for the longest time, I mean, I had the TV blasting because I just didn't want to hear the footsteps or, the, or, or, you know, the walking, that all the lights were on. Closet door was like open with closet lights on. I mean, I just didn't want to see anything, hear anything. So that lasted for a while. But while I was going through that, um, I tried to do as much research as possible, like spirits and ghosts. And, and again, this is like in the 90s. So there wasn't much about it. Um, you know, you can go to the library and try to figure out. Right you know, just do all that study. Um, but you couldn't really talk to too many people about it. Um, I could talk to my mother because my mother lived, you know, I lived with her and she had so many experiences. So at least, you know, we can kind of talk to each other about it, but that's kind of where, um, I started. So this was like my mid twenties. Wow. So wow. Did, was this at three o'clock in the morning, like the devil's hour or the <laughs> witch's hour? Because I've been waking up. I told the girls, yeah. I've been waking up every single night between three and four. And then I, you know, of course I, I have a paper and pad, but if yeah. I'm so tired. I'm like to write down my thoughts. I'm like, please just go to bed, just go to bed, you know? Yeah. But um, you know, they always say that like, that's like the witching hour, but honestly, like they're up all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like they're, they can happen at any, any time. This particular one, like everything going in our house was just all, it, it was just any time of the day. Um, so if you have like, um, a residual, which is something that happens every time the same day, the same, you know, like, Oh, I see him walking. Yep. Five o'clock. Yep. I see him walking five o'clock. So it's just, it's just a tape recorder Yeah. But or, um, an intelligent haunting. It could be anytime, any place. Doesn't matter where you are in the house or, or whatever that doesn't matter. So, I mean, it could technically be anytime. 
Oh my God, mm-hmm. that freaks me out. Wow. And I, I, I'm glad you said that because I've watched Ghost Hunters from like the from the beginning, right? And Taps, like when I was looking at your Instagram, lightly stalking you, I was like, oh my God, Taps, like that was my like I wanted to be a part of the team. I loved it so much. And and they always said residual. I thought it was um, interactive and intelligent haunting, right? Oh, yeah. And yeah. intelligent scared me more because you know residual is just like as if they're on this loop, right? Like just on a on a. Right. There's like, nothing record. they can do to you. There's nothing you can do sure. to them. yeah. But yeah. when they can interact with you or intelligent, that freaks me out more. Can I ask also, I mean, that's amazing. If you can explain that to our viewers as well about the difference, number one. And number two, had anything happened to you before this particular incident with the being held down? Anything else when you were a kid or anything? Or was this your first experience? Um, well, I've had, a, I have, I've had many experiences, but that one was the, um, the most, the most scared I've been. Sure. Yeah. Um, so like, so living in that house, um, there's a lot of things that happened. Like, you know, like the, the door would just slam open, you know? So in the middle of the night, the door is just, you know, like slam open. Um, you know, I mean, people are knocking, you hear voices all the time. Um, my mother always saw um, something that she, she just called it like an Abe Lincoln, like, oh, Abe, I saw Abe today because it was a guy that looked like Abe Lincoln. So mm-hmm. With a top hat, like a tall guy, yeah. the tall man, yes. the tall yes. man. Yes. God. Shadow so man. She, so she always saw him, but so I, but I don't know. I couldn't ever go back there because we already moved. So I couldn't go back there to actually investigate. So I don't know what happened. The only thing that I can think of um, is that somebody could have brought them in because if you have a hitchhiker, you know, so if you're like, we're not into antiques. We didn't bring anything home. We didn't, you know, nothing like that. Um, so the only thing I can think of is maybe one of us just brought home somebody or if they happen to be walking around the neighborhood, you know, <laughs> like yeah, I was going to ask, I think it was the house, like the house in particular. Yeah. Maybe. So there was no deaths in the house. The house was only like six years old. Okay. And we were the second people that lived in there. Um, before that, there was like strawberry fields. Um, so, you know what, I don't know who could have died in the area or, you know, like I, I have no idea, you know, there's or like in the war or house. whatever, if they yeah. were on like, you know, trek land. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. So yeah. I mean, don't mention that. Just have no idea, but the only thing is that we didn't have anything going on for about a year for when we moved in. So that's right. why I'm thinking like it has nothing to do with the land. I'm thinking it, somebody got gotcha, either attached yeah, to like, somebody and then attached stayed. to us. Or if they were somewhere else, maybe they died at another house or whatever, you know, and then they just decided to like us and, you know, and, and come on in. I actually remember um, the day where things changed, like in the house. So it was just completely because I used to go downstairs, like I had, you know, go to work, come downstairs. I, I did like a, a full gym downstairs in my basement. I would work out, go upstairs, get ready, go out. You know, so that I had like a little routine. So, and I just remember the day where all of a sudden the whole air just completely changed and like every hair like just went up and it was like, oh my God. And it just, it felt like somebody really large was just standing in front of you. Like that nervous feeling, like that stranger, you're like, oh my God. And then I just remember like looking up, you know, the basement windows. Yeah. I remember looking up at the basement window and I just see like a cat staring back at me, which I'm like, oh my God, you know, so like all these little things. I'm like, all right, I got to get out of here. So yeah. that was like one of the last times that like I worked out downstairs because I'm like, I I can't, I, I can't go down there anymore. And so I think like from that point on, um, the house was just, it just felt negative. And, you know, like the house alarm would always go off. We don't, you know, my they never said it, but it would just go off the, police would have to come all the time and uh you know they did like a do test outside just to make sure because we would hear all these noises and then the alarm and my mother went downstairs one time because the alarm went off and it says um you know like it gave you like the pad where it says like where the alarm was going off and it says like basement door well the basement door is right in back of her you know it's, it was like one of those oh, movies oh, you know so yeah. like oh my god yeah, it's like so, the, it's like whoever was there wanted attention, right? They wanted to be heard. That that's what I find very sad. It's like, what are they trying to say? Yeah, it's really sad. Well, Sherry, yeah. can we ask you? Uh, you know, after um this episode airs, you know, it's it, we're closing out twenty twenty three. What are you excited for twenty twenty three? Do you have any career goals or something you're looking forward to? Any upcoming projects you could kind of plug and promote here? You have the floor. 
Um, I have a lot of events coming up. Um, there, there's no contract sign, so I won't say, but, but, um, but there's a lot of events coming up throughout the whole year. A lot of paranormal show, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of paranormal events. Um, so throughout the whole country, um, and of course my August event, which you ladies are more than welcome to, you know, stop in anytime. Oh <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm so excited. Yeah, um, I know. <laughs> um, and, um, as for, so season 15, we did season 15. So we already filmed it. We just finished in November. Um, and so they just did the eight. Um, episodes for season 15 um, in the fall and now they're going to do the other eight um, in the springtime sometime maybe February March or something like that um, mm -hmm. you know with the merger I don't know if you guys know the merger with you know Warner Brothers and all of that mm -hmm. um, so we are just waiting day by day to hear what the situation is over there um, but hopefully um, we'll be start to, starting to film season 16 um nice. at some point <laughs> no exciting Hello. exciting yeah. oh my god oh yeah That's my god exciting. before we, we we log out um david my my boyfriend like him and i are very we're we're huge fans so that's all we watch is Discovery Plus. We only watch paranormal and scary movies. And sometimes like if it's too scary, then we'll watch something funny. But this is David. Um, I, yeah. I, Sherry, I, I, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good. I just have like one question. Lisa and I were watching uh, a recent episode when you yeah. and the team were in, uh, I think, Pittsburgh at the converted uh, church to a brewery. Okay, and, you yeah. and, and you and Jason were in, I think, the main hall. And it was incredible how you were getting these just on cue responses. I mean, when you're when you're experiencing that kind of I mean, aside from the exhilaration and the adrenaline rush, yeah. I mean, do you get super creeped out? Like you're in a dark setting and you're just like going these these voices are just I mean and they were coming through so clear they were so clear yeah I love it like but you know it's it's always so fascinating like every time you go into a different building um you know I mean it's, it's a different investigation everywhere you go so you never know who you're gonna you know get in contact with like I said so you know you do all the whole you know hello this is this is who I am this is why we're here try to get a rapport going with them and when you start you know, and we have all these pieces of equipment and you don't know which one that they're actually going to use. Um, so we kind of put a couple up and just say, you know, whichever one you're comfortable with, you know, they're not going to hurt you and do all of that. Spiel. So when something actually happens and you get like, you know, the regular responses on command every time, you know, like first we're like, oh my God, that's so great. Like, you know, you get, you <laughs> do get excited, but then it's like, okay, while we have them, we need to ask as many questions as, as possible before they just go away. Cause you don't, you don't know if they're going to be like, all right, we've had enough of you. See you later. You know? And yeah. um, so it's, so yeah, like I absolutely love it. That yeah. was, that was like an incredible episode. Yeah. And it was just like, whoa. Yeah. And David was like going, Hey, can you ask Sherry if we can be a guest on their show so we can go do it? Oh, investigation? I beat you I go, out. Oh my I, I God. Said, and I said, no, I can't ask her that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if there's <laughs> any scared. place you guys ever want to go to. Heck we'll yeah. Go. I'll yeah. bring my equipment. If you guys awesome. are ever like in the Boston area. I, you know, like we have like the Lizzie Borden. And we have like the SK Pearson Victorian Mansion, which I'll be in January. Um, the SS Sal the USS Salem, the ship that's out yeah. here, um, which again I think will I'll be out there soon. Um, so yeah, if you guys are ever out, absolutely. Oh you guys, you guys I love your we show. need to get a Comic Con out there, and then um, yeah, like like all of us just go to Comic Con and then go visit Sherry, and she can take us on an invest stay oh, extra okay. oh, days. Absolutely, a uh, oh my God, paranormal episode would be amazing yeah well i just wanted to say hi and hi. i've loved your guys' show Thank and you. this one when we first met was like you like paranormal i go i love paranormal yeah and it's yeah. like that's perfect. the one thing that's we look perfect. forward to yes exactly. yes <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah 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 absolutely cheers david yeah. we love you sending lots of love for your recovery thank you david. oh my god <laughs> love that. 
Sherry, yeah. you've been amazing. And we, again, you know, Lisa, thank you again for having a, a wonderful guest that you've recommended because we oh. all love the genre. Um, any final words for your fans, Sherry? Because, you know, this is so great to have you on a show where some of the wrestling fans might not have heard of Ghost Hunters or not been interested, but now, of course, they'll be hooked. So any final words for your fans? Um, I don't even know. I, I just want to say thank you guys. You know, thank you so much for having me be on here. Um, you know, I mean, I don't really know of any wrestlers that are fans. So, so, so <laughs> I don't know. So for you guys. Well, now you do. Now you do. Yeah. Yes. So, so thank you guys uh, for doing this. Um, you know, and again, um, women supporting women. So again, thank you because there's not that much of it. Always in my genre so, um, yeah. so i didn't even see you drink your pinot noir yes, this whole know, episode well, you were talking about things yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 lisa go yeah. ahead and close yeah. this, yeah. this out because you had uh, yeah. introduced this wonderful guest so lisa go oh ahead my gosh the final you, cheers of 2022 you guys oh my yeah, god i know i know oh my god sherry yes. thank you so much thank for being on the show huge fan grown-ass woman strong independent woman and just people should support each other, you know, girl power. And yeah. um, thank you so much for responding so quickly on the DM. I was actually surprised. I go, what the hell? I'm going to send her a DM. What a I'm song. not going to hear anything <laughs> back. But I was like, Bless you. Yeah. So David, I go, Sherry Marie just responded back. He goes, are you serious? Ask her if we could be on a show. I told her to investigate it. Yeah, yeah. But well, uh, when, yeah. When thank we you. We're so we proud of you. Filming, when we start filming, maybe next year, I will bring it up to the producer. I don't have to be Please. on the show. We just want to do an investigation. <laughs> love you. And wishing you, yeah. happy, all, wishing you guys thank continued you. success. Thank, thank you for you. all you do. Yeah. Cheers, ladies. So Cheers. Much. So nice to meet you. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year. This is the word. Go, yo, go.